what's up guys welcome back to the channel today i'm doing a little uh video about my bass tracker bass buggy uh this is the 16 foot and just acquired this boat for my lake i had a uh 16 foot alumacraft v-hole and ever since i've moved out here we've always wanted a pontoon boat so finally made that a reality found a really good deal this boat is a 2014 it had the bow mounted motor guide controller motor that is remote control the xi3 and it is 52 pound thrust it's got two swivel seats in the front aerator live well um, the previous owner had all the cushions redone uh, unfortunately he had passed away and then this boat sat for about a year so deal popped up I bought it um, it had a 40 horse mercury on the back four stroke that did run I did sell that and also had to sell the trailer because this boat's basically never coming off the lake again so what I did for power at first is just use the bow mounted trolling motor there and uh, that's all fine but I kept the controls for the steering and when I sold the motor sold the throttle and the shifter and all that stuff went along with it and the ignition but I kept the harness for all the electronics so all right, so let's get down to it. I bought a, actually I had already a Newport Vessels 46 pound thrust trolling motor and I remote mounted the head, as you can see here on the side of the console. Yes, it's powered up. Yes, my wife thinks I'm crazy, but I hadn't seen anybody do this yet and I figured Let's give it a try. So I bought some 14, uh, not 14. I bought some uh, four wire, 10 gauge uh, marine cable. Just this right here. There you go. And just have a O'Reilly special deep cycle mode or a battery. And a quick connect plug. So basically the power goes into the trolling motor head. And out of that trolling motor head, I connected that four cable uh, 10 gauge connector. So it runs down to the floor runs on top of the pontoon comes out here let me jump back here um, we're just beta testing right now but it comes out here and then I snaked it down under here now right in here is the connection you got your power your negative and then there's uh, I guess there are communication wires it's a yellow and a white wire so I used, I kept all the factory terminals on there in case I want to put this back and basically just bolted the, the 12 volts and the, and the ground to other ring terminals. And then it had two uh, female uh, slip-on terminals and I just put male terminals on those, slipped them together, heat shrunk everything and made sure connections were tight. So the idea is to reconnect these wires that are part of the four conductor 10 gauge wire that I got and connect it to the motor shaft, negative, positive, and the control wires uh, for reversing. And I'll, uh, I just added these heat shrink terminals on there we'll uh, get these bolted back on because these bolted to the speed connector 
or speed controller and uh, I'll slide some heat shrink over those and then we got to make these connections um, like this back at the head for the uh, speed selector so, let's see if this is gonna work but all in effort to get remote control steering on a pontoon boat uh, and speed control. So I've already got the steering connected. As you can see the cable here. This was off of a Mercury 40 horse and I just bolted the cable to there. That's actually a conduit hanger strap and uh, seems to hold the cable still. And, uh, but, yeah, I'm gonna finish up this wiring. And then use this uh, old bilge pump uh, discharge hose and wrapped it with electrical tape so you no know, water gets down in there and clamped it on. So I bought the steering triangle for the trolling motor off Amazon and connected it to my original uh, Mercury steering cable. And I had to get this swivel here. That is actually off of a Honeywell pneumatic actuator control. Uh, I do HVAC for a living, so I have a bunch of these things laying around. And I said that'll be a perfect swivel control for what I want to test. So I can take my steering. You can see it's moving perfectly. Um, yeah, that's it. The tilt does still work. You can trim it up. It's limited to how far it'll go because the linkage will hit about here, but it's good enough for what we're doing here. Let me show you some throttle. So instead of reaching over and turning the head, my idea was to mount it here. So we are going forward now. This is on the first setting. Uh, maxed out, the boat does about three miles an hour. And, uh, but honestly, you're not gonna be running it full out all the time anyway, so. But yeah, you can see we're actually underway. And it's operating. Just like a normal boat, except it's quiet, it's electric, can't have gas motors on my lake, so this uh, serves the purpose for me, and it's been a long time dream come true, so we are pontoon boat owners now. Gonna try some fishing later today, and I uh, got out early this morning after working late on this last night. Yeah, so we, there's our forward controls. It's got reverse. Might take a minute to slow her down. But there we go. But we are going in reverse. Uh, the wind's blowing. That's the other direction, so the idea so let's crank her all the way up to five you'll see how it goes here but right, so far I'm happy with it uh, I'm gonna probably find a more permanent way to mount that right now it's uh, little zip ties but it's working um, you know, like I ran the 12 volt cables through here and then the other cable for the four wire controls runs through the center shaft uh, up inside there. So this does have the telescoping handle, I don't really need it here. And uh, not sure if I'm going to upgrade this to the 55 pound thrust, um, this 46 does seem to work pretty good. 
what we're doing here. Yeah, you can see, we are moving. All right, guys. Well, that's my short little video, and uh, seems to be working. If you got any questions, comments, leave them down below. And I uh, appreciate you watching. Catch you in the next video.